In this video, we will look at how we can solve equations with x squared by introducing the zero product property. What the zero product rule says is that if you're multiplying two factors and the answer is zero, the only way that's possible is if either the first factor, a, equals zero, or the second factor, b, equals zero. So if we have factors that equal zero, to solve, we set each factor equal to zero. Let's take a look at some examples where we can set factors equal to zero to find out what x equals. In this problem, we have two factors, 5x minus 1 and 2x plus 5, that multiply to equal zero. This means one of the factors must be zero. So we write 5x minus 1 equals zero, or the 2x plus 5 equals zero, and solve these two equations to find our solutions for x. The first equation we solve by adding 1, 5x equals 1, and finally, dividing by 5. x could be equal to the fraction 1 fifth. When it does, the first factor equals 0 times anything is always 0. Similarly, we can solve the second factor by subtracting 5 from both sides. This gives us 2x equals negative 5. Finally, dividing both sides by 2, we find out x could be the fraction negative 5 halves. This means when x is negative 5 halves, the second factor equals zero, times the first will always be zero. Let's take a look at another example where we use this zero product property to find solutions. Here, we have three factors multiplied together. 2x is multiplied by x minus 6, is multiplied by 2x plus 3. One of those factors must be 0 for this equation to equal 0. So we set them each equal to 0. 2x equals 0, x minus 6 equals 0, and 2x plus 3 equals 0. Solving these equations will tell us the possible values for x. The first equation solves by dividing by 2. This gives us x equals 0. When x equals 0, the first factor is 0, times something, times something, will always equal 0. We can solve the second equation by adding 6 to both sides. This gives us x equals 6. When x is equal to 6, the middle factor is 0, multiplied by the others will always equal 0. To solve the third factor, we start by subtracting 3 to give us 2x equals negative 3. Finally, dividing by 2 gives us our final possible solution for x of negative 3 halves. When x is negative 3 halves, the last factor is 0, multiplied by the others would always be 0. The zero product rule simply says if several factors multiply to 0, either one of them or another will equal 0. Using this, we can find possible solutions for x.